Trees have permeated the photos I've taken and the films I've made. Sometimes cast intentionally, other times a forced cameo. I've used trees to symbolise the death of an industry and the hope for a better world. But this film is dedicated to an ordinary tree. A tree that sits next to my flat. I can't say I ever gave the tree much thought until I decided to make this film. Here are a couple of observations. From my bedroom window, I can see the tree as it reaches out to one opposite. An act of kindness maybe, or possibly a fight for the rays of the sun. A neighbouring tree don't deny me coat. Another produces fruit. Should I feel bad for this tree? Or is it better off for not being materialistic? Or having the fruit of its labour stolen? One pigeon in particular is drawn to the tree. A greedy pigeon we call Porsche. She eats all the bird seed we scatter on our windowsill. Catherine, our cat, is no fan of Porsche. But Catherine hasn't seen the art Porsche is capable of. A true original? Or a Jackson Pollock movie? The tree once served a purpose for a hungry squirrel. Once again, to Catherine's discomfort. December, the month of the pretty trees. A real tree watches on through the window as we decorate an adopted one. Is it confused? Jealous? Horrified? Relieved? My neighbour Joe also lives in the shadow of this tree. Here he is composing the music for this film as Portia listens on. Try to reach out to the tree via a kite, but failed in our task. Does it dream of flight? Or is it content being rooted in one place? There's a comfort in knowing this tree is older than me and how it will most likely outlive me. In struggling for a worthy note to end the film on, I'm going to paraphrase the great Christie Moore. An ordinary tree, nothing special, nothing grand. <laughs>